Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. I've been talking about this for a long time, but now I feel it is finally time for me to come forward and share with you my top 10 favorite bands and my three favorite songs by them. Before we get started with this list, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you're thinking about this list. Uh, it's, it's less of a list and just, do you share any of these? What are your top 10 favorite bands? Or, you know what, let's, let's make it easier. I know I had a really hard time coming up with this list. It took me about a week and a half to actually make this list and argue with myself about who deserves to be on what at what point in this list. I had to listen to so many albums and so many songs. It's like, well, this, uh, dude, I like this. So let's go top five bands for you guys. What are your top five favorite bands? Uh, I am going to be sharing my three favorite songs by each band, just so you kind of know maybe a little bit more about what I like, what I've been listening to. I don't know. This might be a terrible idea, but here we go. Starting at... Number 10, we have Disharmonia Mundi. What I really like about these guys is their instrumentals. Um, their vocal styles change so much over their songs, and I really appreciate it. It's just it's complex songs, um, high energy, and just really interesting music. I don't know what else to say about it other than that without like bringing up a song and explaining what I mean, so I'm not going to do that. My third favorite song by them is Nihilistic Overdrive, just because it's a fun, high-energy song uh, that's really, it's really aggressive. Then I like Quicksand Symmetry is number two, because of that guitar riff. It's fantastic. And then I have number one by Disharmonia Mundi is Resurrection Code. I just like that song because it's a great melody, or symphonic melody. I don't know what genre that would be. It's just a great song. Moving on. Now, we're at number nine. This band is Chevelle. Now, Chevelle is the first concert I ever went to. Chevelle and a rock group known as New Medicine. I haven't heard anything by them in years, so I don't even know if they're still around making new music. Either way, Chevelle was my first secular concert that I went to. I grew up in a religious household, so I went to a lot of like Skillet before that. Skillet, Red, those are like the two bands that I went to see before this band. But it was the first time I was able to go on my own with a friend. It was an amazing experience. They're fantastic live. I think I've seen them six times now live, mostly in Wisconsin, but one time in Texas. Saw them one time in Texas. Uh, just always a fantastic show. All of their albums have been awesome. Some a little bit weird, but they've all been fantastic. Anyways, Chevelle, my top three songs, starting at number three, are Safer Waters. Just because I like the lyric lyrics of it. I like the style of it. It's a little bit more mellow, more relaxed, but still got that great rhythm to it. Number two is another know-it-all uh, off their... Uh, what album is that? This type of thinking could do a sin. That's the album. I uh, really like that song just because it's it's got a great rhythm to it. Another great lyrical content song, and then number one is Sleep Apnea. It's just all these these three songs I like for different reasons, and they're very unique songs. And that's what I like about Chevelle. It's just, it's very different from album to album. Very very different, and it's, it's just fun. It's just great. I don't know what else to say about that. So. Now, oh, I'm moving songs around my list. Stop, please stop. Sorry, I got my list up on Google Play because I, I made a playlist because I'm like, these are my favorite songs ever, so I should probably have a playlist of them so I can just listen to it whenever I want. So this is number eight, Demon Hunter. I like Demon Hunter because he's just got such a consistent vocal quality and just that mellow almost depressive style to their music is always easy to listen to always an enjoyable experience and i can always do something else while i'm listening to it but it really has how i describe it as introspective music i don't know how else to put it other than it makes me think about myself and that's a cool thing that if a song can do that that's probably a pretty good song uh top three songs number three is dead flowers Number two is God Forsaken, and number one is The Last One Alive. You guys should definitely go check out all of these songs that I'm listing, but specifically, I would check out these Demon Hunter songs. If you have no other time, check out all three of these Demon Hunter songs. It's like 15 minutes of your life. It's going to be great. 
All right, so what was that? That was 10, 9, 8, now 7. 7, some of you might know this. Uh, you might expect to see this on this list because I've talked about them once or twice before. Uh, this is Trivium. Now, I've been to two Trivium concerts, one where they were headlining, one where they were at Sonic Boom down in Janesville, Wisconsin. Um, I really like – I started listening to them – when uh, I think Shogun came out, maybe a little after Shogun came out. And I've been following them for like however long that's been. Has it been a decade yet? It's got to be close to a decade now. I've been listening to these guys. Just they've never let me down. They've had some interesting patches where they've gone a little bit more hard rock. Um, I think it was Vengeance Falls. That was a little weird. But they've always been always been consistent. I love their lyrical content and just their devotion to metal. Some people think like, ah, oh, it's not really. It's metal. It's all metal. They're great. I love their personality. I like watching his stream every now and then. Matt Heffy, Heffy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Heffy. Not really sure. But all right, number three song by them is Shogun because it's just a great epic song. It's got so much going on. It brings the whole album together. Really, it does. It, it's just a masterpiece. We've talked about it once before on this channel. Uh, number two is Beneath the Sun. This is, I think this was a special edition song off of their Silence in the Snow album. But I just really like it. It's a hard, more of a hard rock song than anything. But I really enjoy it. And then number one is Drowned and Torn Asunder off their Ascendancy album, which I think is one of their best albums. Although the sin in the sentence really just, that's, it's coming back. That was really good. It's just an amazing album. They've, they've done so much. They've been so unique in their discography that it's hard to deny them a spot on my list because I listen to them all the time. All right, now this is number five. Now we're getting into some of the heavier stuff. This was this is where the contention really stepped up on my list. Got really hard. So, number five, right? This is number five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, this is six. This is six. I'm sorry. Number six is where the contention it's just this band is what kicked it off. It made it really difficult. The band is Solution 45. Now, I just recently discovered this band, but their take on this symphonic and melodic death metal which is probably a different genre than that but it that's my take on it and genre is just a name anyway so what does it matter it's just so it's aggressive but really intimate at the same time which is a weird weird way to describe it but i just love everything about this band almost all of their songs are masterpieces and i just can't put them down i have to listen to all of their songs I, I, when I first discovered these guys, I binged all of their songs. I just like, I need to know more. And then that was the only thing I listened to. Uh, so number three, third song is Bleed, the he Bleed Heavens Dry. Really like that song. But then the next two are off the same album. I think it's for Aeon's Past. It's just my favorite album by these guys. Just all the songs are freaking masterpieces. I can't, I don't understand how they got there. Um, Second song, Gravitational Lensing. And then number one is Bladed Vaults. All right, so if you know anything about Solution 45, this next band might not surprise you. Number five is Scar Symmetry. I found out they have the same lead singer, and that was a really interesting discovery for me, actually. I was like, oh, that makes sense. That really does make sense. A lot of these bands are intertwined. It's very weird like um i'll get to that later i'll talk about that in a little bit uh, i really like scar symmetry for just their lyrical masterpieces as well as instrumental masterpieces really just complex songs with really deep lyrics that you might not think are deep on the surface but when you actually look at them there's a lot of meaning behind those lyrics and i actually have three songs from three different albums on here by them and it was really difficult to choose the songs on this because all their songs are fantastic again uh number three is neo human number two is extinction mantra and number one is holographic universe and actually this is like 25 minutes of listening <laughs> that's how much there is here with three songs but they're all fantastic you should definitely give them time to check it out 
Uh, the next band we're going to, number four, is getting a little bit more symphonic metal. It's not, I don't know if I'd give it the term death, death metal, but it definitely could be. Uh, this is a band I also recently discovered, and they don't have a lot of albums out. I really wish they were more popular. This is Mutiny Within. Now, if you like just straight up metal and some creative masterpieces, this is a band for you guys because they just they don't care what the rules are. They'll put blast beats in the chorus with clean vocals. They just don't care. And it all sounds fantastic. All of their song, songs sound like they put so much work into them. You guys should definitely check these out. I have number three is Internal Dissension. Number two is Archetype of Destruction. Number one is Year of Affliction. I could listen to Year of Affliction like six times in a row without getting sick of it. This guy's voice is amazing. The band is fantastic. Just love everything about their songs. Those top three songs, I just I can play on a loop. Just three songs in a row for hours and hours on end. All right, next, number three. This is a band that may not surprise anyone. We've talked about this. They've recently released an album. Actually, all three of these next bands have released an album this year. So it's been a fantastic year. And by this year, yes, I mean since the start of 2019. It's just been a fantastic year for my list. Oh, man. Number three, and this one... This is actually sad because this band lost its spot to another band. Um, this is In Flames. Now the reason In Flames kind of lost the spot is because I feel like their albums have been good, but they haven't been like masterpiece level, and I haven't found myself listening to them a ton. Um, but when I do, I listen to these three songs a lot, and these three albums actually. Um, it's three songs off three different albums. Uh, yeah, I feel like it actually really the reason that this lost the spot is because the band that took number two had such a fantastic album this year that it was hard to deny them the spot. It just in flames says solid, good albums, but they haven't been like masterpiece level for a while. This latest album though, it's, it's pretty good. So I might have to rethink this a little bit again, man. I was waiting for the album to come out, the In Flames album to come out to decide, because it's the last of the three that needed to come out. Uh, so the three songs I've chosen by In Flames are Everything's Gone, Crawl Through Knives, which is like, I think, unanimously agreed on one of their best songs. And then number one is The Quiet Place. Now the reason I chose The Quiet Place is In Flames got me into Mellow Death. I can't say anything more. And the song that got me into In Flames was The Quiet Place. It was high school. You're going through that like really dark, edgy phase in your life where you think like, oh, my life sucks. It's really depressing. And then you realize like two days later that, no, it's not. But <laughs> that's that's where I was when I discovered this band. And it's been a fant fantastic ride for the last probably 10 years, I think. Maybe a little less than 10 years. Um uh, probably 10 years and i've enjoyed i've enjoyed every album they've released they haven't released a bad album uh some that i listen to a little bit less than others but it hasn't been bad uh so that's that's in flames that's where that's my history with them and it's just been i've only seen them in concert once uh my fiance got me tickets to see them a while back with all that remains so that was a pretty great concert all right number two we're really getting up there second favorite band ever that released an absolute masterpiece of an album this year that just blew me away soil work now these guys have been releasing fantastic albums um i know that this al most recent album and the last album there's a pretty big gap between when they came out i think it was like four years but this album was so good i've listened to it like seven or eight times in entirety not including just listening to like one-off songs i just binged the whole album it's been amazing and all of their other albums are very similar to that you can just binge the whole thing and every album is a masterpiece what i was going to say earlier is that uh the lead singer uh bjorn Strit Speed Strid also did some songs with Disharmonia Mundi, I'm pretty sure. And they've also done stuff with In Flames. Actually, this guy's also been on a song by Demon Hunter. It's collapsing. Uh 
So that was kind of interesting to discover that he's been all over the place. But the three songs I've selected by Soil Work are This Momentary Bliss, which is a fantastic song. This, and a lot of people agree with that. Uh, another one is a little less known. Um, it is All Along Echoing Paths. Another great song. These are all, obviously, these are great songs. I don't know why I keep saying that. And my favorite song by Soil Work has got to be Tongue off their The Living Infinite um, album. You should definitely check out all these songs. He's a lyrical masterpiece. He's a lyrical masterpiece. He, all these songs are lyrical masterpieces as well as instrumentally phenomenal. And uh, I, I need to stop talking. Otherwise I'm just going to go on a rant. All right. Now, for those of you that have been around for a while, this is not a surprise at all. I've said this multiple times, who my favorite band of all time is. But for those of you that are new here, this is, in my opinion, the best band in the world. And that is Dream Theater. Now, Dream Theater, I got into when I was playing Rock Band 2 and heard Panic Attack. I'm like, oh my god, this is a great song. I need to hear more. Are the rest of their songs? <gasps> And then I discovered their album, The Mirror, and then all of their other albums, and then they released new albums, and then, yeah, it was just a rabbit hole that I went down for months on end without listening to anything but these guys. I, I don't know how to say anything that'll do it justice. You guys have heard of them before. Everybody has their opinion, but this is my favorite band of all time, and number three favorite song by them is breaking all illusions it's just it's a 12 and a half minute song that's just fantastic all the way through number two is the glass prison which is another great song with they, they all have they're all great songs with great lyrics it's just all of the members of, the, of dream theater are truly phenomenal in their field and then the number one favorite song is panic attack I just love that song. It's so complex. It just captures what I love about the band and what I love about metal, um, even without having harsh vocals. So that's my list. What do you think? Am I a fucking moron for thinking these are the best bands ever? I don't know. You guys will let me know. But either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts and what your favorite bands are. And to go take a listen. Go, go give an ear to music. Yep. See you later.